subject of skips. So let's talk about 17, Snow Bunny. Yes, can we please get on that? <laughs> um, something, something, Bobby. This is the feature of the year. Feature of the year, yeah, I remember saying that. What y'all think about that? Uh, the year just started, bitch. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? It's We Talk Culture, and we're back for episode 11. You already know who it is. I'm in Boy Pride, and I'm here with Swayze and Burt. What's going on, guys? How was y'all weekend? What oh, y'all get into, if anything? Don't give them too much, but... Man, I almost got jumped by a couple of barbs this weekend, man. Yeah, we heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> so. um, but, yeah, not my weekend. Ready to some good food. Oh yeah, man! I have some some good wings, man. <laughs> some more? good wings. Uh, no free promo, but that's this place in Falkrock. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. Cause I used to work up there. So let's see. Yeah, they, they got called Cam Newton too, by the way. The Ooh. sauce is called Cam Newton. That's yeah. Fine. yeah. Um. Yeah. So I had personally had a decent weekend. Chit out with the family. Uh, tapped into the American Dream off. Y'all know where that is. Jones and Vibe. If y'all want to see a vlog of We Talk Culture, go up there and just kick it. Let us know. It's definitely a full vibe up there. A little shopping for the family. I ain't get too much. Then I pulled up on Bird. Mm -hmm. Bird's Basement. Uh, just Nice Cakes, right? Yeah, Just Nice. Yeah, Just Nice uh, Sneaker Show. Or, sne or Just Nice, I guess. Is that his brand? I don't really know too yeah, much that's about Yeah, that's his name. It's like his... Uh, he just sets up a bunch of shows. He's like big in the sneaker game. Um... Puts a bunch of like conventions together and shit for people. Work came came to where we stay at, uh, Chase Field House. Mm -hmm. So on Sunday I had to pull up on him. Actually, the vlog just dropped as we're recording this, John. I recorded a real quick vlog. If you go new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Check out the vlog. Um, check out all the extra videos we got going. Um, but we're gonna hop right into this, John. Uh, we got music. We got some sports. You already know the deal, dog. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's we talk culture. And we see we see in our culture it's starting to affect y'all. We got it. We we own y'all ends. Um, y'all want to start with music or because it's probably the shortest drum. Sure, yeah, get out the way. Yeah, it ain't that much music. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it quick. Let's start with the Lotto Project. The um, biggest. The, the biggest. Biggie. The Biggie Duets. <laughs> um, Lotto dropped um seven seven seven. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, yeah. Decent project. Good mm -hmm. job, Lotto. Uh, I'm boosting this shit's album of the year just because it's for certain <laughs> fans out there. Um, this shit is fucking fire. It's gas. gas. Um, it's going to be on repeat for me. Couldn't get, couldn't, couldn't get anything bigger than Mariah Carey, could you? No. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, uh, I already like Wheelie with 21, 21 Savage, which was gas. I really like the track with Wayne and Childish. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the fuck mixed that joint, but Childish's voice was low as shit. And for him to not drop anything in so long, I really wanted to hear his voice. But regardless, I like that track. Um, I like Lotto singing on a couple of these drones. Y'all know I'm a Nardo Wick. Nardo Wick hive him out here. I like track eight. Um, I actually liked a little bit of track ten. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that bad. I was waiting to see what y'all said. It wasn't that bad. Um, I don't like the backstory. What's going on with the <laughs> shit behind that? Um, that's a little bit nasty. Um, and I like twelve. Cause she was talking that who we, mm -hmm. um. But yeah, good job, Lotto. Nice little project, seven seven seven. Yeah, she uh. I already we already knew about Willie. Willie was a single. Loved that song. Um, I loved the John Wayne and Childish. Um, I did not like like a thug for y'all because I knew y'all was waiting on me to say something about old oh, little dirt. Little dirt, yeah. Crazy. That's why I didn't say anything because I didn't like it. it was, um, <laughs> nah, I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, Stepper. She, she, uh, she been hanging out with uh Columbus Short and Megan Good, <laughs> stomping the yard on Stepper. Yeah, she, sir. Yeah, that shit yeah, she she went crazy on that. Um, nine, her verses oh, on there yeah, trust were them, insane. Trust I them, hated the chorus though. I, I mean, agree. The chorus her, ruined it. For me. I agree. The her verses on there were stupid. Y'all know how I feel about Kodak. I, I I'm cool <laughs> off that draw. Um, shout out to Kodak though, <laughs> but. Southside, everybody know about that too. Yeah, just rapping, rapping. Though. Of course. Um, that yeah, those are my songs on here. Yeah, we pretty much liked all the same songs. Uh, 
Sunshine, I think, would by far was the best song. Yeah, ever. that shit. Yeah, me too. I, I like how she kind of switches it up. Um, this album is very versatile in what Super. she could do. Uh -huh. She could talk her shit, or she can give you the singing melody type. Um, Southside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Southside was a was a banger. Um, her, like you said though, I trust no bitch. Her verses on there, really, it really like. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? She can really like flaunt her shit on there. Yeah, like she knows her way around lyrics, and she. I think right now she's the best female. I was gonna ask artist. you because I know that you in a in a past behind the scenes, you know, you said you like Ruby Rose. So I was gonna mm -hmm. say Ruby Rose or Mulatto. No, definitely like, Mulatto. Mulatto. Definitely Mulatto. Dude, this water bottle I just hit. Yeah, <laughs> definitely Mulatto by far. But Ruby Rose does have good songs. No, Ruby. Rose. She's not as consistent as as Mulatto though. I don't think Ruby Rose is a bad artist at all. I just think like if we talking about lyrical content yeah. and Mulatto is really like that. I yeah. honestly like you said. I feel like she's the best uh, female rapper in the game right yeah. now. Easily. So, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> not much music came out. Um, that was probably the biggest highlight as far as the podcast goes. That we all wanted to touch. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this shit for the last minute time. Nigo, Nigo, mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. That shit was trash. I didn't really like it like that. Um, cool to see track three, Punch Bowl with Push Your T clips. That was a great joint. <clears throat> um, besides that, the actual Push Your T song. Um, fuck, which one was that? Hear Me Clearly. Yeah. Uh, those are the only two joints for me. Besides that. Nigo, I guess that's your name, the owner of Bape. I guess he decided to put out his project, a project under his name or whatever. Uh, I definitely want to say that track four with Pharrell and Gunna, that was probably the worst song I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> that shit was so bad. I'll that's when that. I turned it off at, at track four. Oh, you tried to listen to it? Yeah, I gave it a chance. Yeah, it wasn't good, man. It, it, wasn't sound, good. it looks good on paper. It looks I mean, so good on paper. You got ASAP, Tyler, ASAP again, Push, Push the, Pharrell, Pharrell Gunna. Gunna. Kid Cudi. Teriyaki. I don't know, I don't know who the fuck Teriyaki you don't know, boys is. Uh, G6. Is that? G6. Yeah. I don't know those Teriyaki boys. I thought it. I think it is. It might be. I could I'm always positive it. it is. It makes sense because he's like in the Pharrell <laughs> type. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pop smoke. Like everyone has a banger on it. Uzi. Pop. Oh wait. No. Not G6. Tokyo Drift joint. My bad. Uh. They. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Huh? I didn't know. <laughs> teriyaki boys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that shit was... Zayvon, what you got for him, man? That shit... I didn't personally listen to that album. The only song I've heard off of it was the Lost and Found. I've seen that he dropped, but I was like, I'm not listening to that shit. Right. I um, know. But I, I did listen to the Lost and Found freestyle. I personally liked it. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt like, especially because I haven't listened to ASAP since he was on, uh... Bad bitch, double D's, popping E. I don't give a F. Told you I'm a G. Yeah, 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 like that's a Jesus. long time ago. I don't yeah, listen yeah. to ASAP for real. Jeepers. Um, so I, it was fun hearing ASAP on that John. I felt like he he did well. Like he didn't disappoint. Tyler the Creator. We we know what he gonna get on the track and do. Uh, Always. Pe people sleep on Tyler because he had that I guess that demonic ass phase that he was going through. But um, nah, Tyler can really wrap his ass off. Um. I, I don't even remember what a word from Nigo's verse. He wasn't on the song. He's not very good. So, uh, yeah, he, he just wasn't on the song. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, as far as after that, hip-hop-wise, I don't think I have Jet Squad. Well, I, I have no projects as far as that. So, if you guys want to tap into any other projects, um, I had a... Go ahead. I gave your... Your boys came out with that one. Key Glock. No. Uh, oh. Uh, Coast Contra. Oh, I don't. I haven't actually listened to any of their real music. I've only heard. Is, well, I, I heard just, a couple of their freestyles. I remembered their their name, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't, I didn't. Was it decent? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, okay. Now I gotta listen to. Yeah, it. they're from Philly, so I kind of yeah. like. I always try to listen oh, to everybody from Philly. Oh, the freestyle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Dope. So I seen that, and I I gave, I didn't like dive into it because I knew we weren't gonna do like a real long thing on it. For but sure. I listened to a couple of the songs and. They're tough. They're, it's, and it's not all like that freestyle was. That's kind of like what I like. Like they didn't just like that's not their gimmick to kind of do that. Yeah, they 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 go through a lot of different yeah, phases on this album, and they they all can rap yes. too. I love that. Like Philly. Like I told y'all when I showed y'all behind the scenes, I was like, yo, they all can rap, but he really caught my eye because he was so yeah. different. Like yeah, they have the uh, Pimp and Benjamin is hard on there, super hard. 
that and I liked um, Queen and Slim got BJ the Chicago Kid, which I haven't heard from him in a war a very long time. Mm-hmm. Very long time. So, and that was tough to kind of hear him. But yeah, mm-hmm. overall it was pretty good. I definitely would listen to it. Anybody tapped into the uh, Denzel Curry? Probably not. I tried. Uh, yeah, I tried to. I can't. <laughs> I literally think I listened to like the first song and I, it was bad. Right. Denzel Curry, he had like his hype songs are, are good, but I feel like I can't listen to them on the phone or in the car. Like if I was at a show of his, it's totally different. Right. Like he's got show music to me. Um, but yeah, I probably won't be tapping back into that. I kind of like this old school cover that he got on his John for Coast concert too. Mm-hmm. This is fire. Yeah, it's tough. That's what. I always look at the album art before I even look at the name. Album um, artwork is key. Artists, Everywhere. get your album artwork right. So I'm just putting mm-hmm. bullshit together. And uh, I didn't get to tap into it, but I seen Haji put out an album. Haji Beats? Yeah. But so he's like it. rapping on it. Okay. And I uh, I meant to get to it. I saved it and everything, but I didn't get to listen to it. Yeah, so like I said, not much music came out. I um, guess we can hop into these singles. Uh... Uh, I, my bad. I'm on the uh, R&B side because that's all I care about. <laughs> uh, obviously, the biggest single this week um, we probably have is Nikki for I guess a third week in a row, possibly. Um, we go up, Nicki Minaj, Fabio, Foreign. What's going on, guys? <laughs> well, um. It, I will say, I will say, it has been better than the past two weeks of songs that we heard. I did like it better than, um, what were the You think it's better than Blick Blick? Blick Blick is horrible Blick. to me, bro. I, I really did not like that song. Um, hmm. reason, but, but, that is not me saying that that song was good. <laughs> let's, let's not get that twisted. Um, I, I still wasn't a fan. I, here come the barbs. I, I've been disappointed in the stuff that Nikki has been dropping. I'm not at the point that Bird is at where I'm sick of her voice. Fresh. Like, if Nikki drops, I'm going to listen. I'm always um, going to listen. Gonna listen to every Nikki song. You, know? um, you have to. But, like, from, <laughs> from what, we, yeah, what we all grew up on versus yeah, what she's to. dropping now is kind of like, we know you can rap. What are mm-hmm. you doing? Like, yeah, that's a um, Like, that... that Rhyme scheme she had on there was. I'd rather listen to a dog bark, bro. That, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. What? I don't feel like pulling up the lyrics, but she says some along the lines of we, we talked about off the scenes that salty pepper. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, I got these bitches salty pepper. But yeah, like I'm yeah, not. I, I, shit I, I, is fucking <laughs> poop. This shit is poop. And it's a damn shame because we all know she can rap. Like, she can rap her ass off. We already knew that. And honestly, the only thing that saved her in the song was Fabi. And the beat. The beat is disgusting. Right. Uh, I would love it if she ran it. She did that fucking middle school ass rhyme scheme. But, 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 but. That shit is so old and like. <laughs> It sounds like shit. But that's her, so- that's her sound, though. If you really go back and listen to Nikki, that's honest, her sound. I thought she was, like, when I heard the beat come in, I said, oh, she's about to run this. She's coming yeah, to yeah, the yeah. bar. I was yeah. excited. Yeah, I ain't gonna like, lie. I thought she was gonna run that drone until she got to, like, verse two, and I looked at the duration, and I seen that it was, like, four minutes and 30 going. seconds. I said, all right, it's starting to lose me a little bit. Then she ran it back again, and I said, a third verse. I said, it where's be, Fabio? It would be so different. At first, I didn't even think Fabio was on it. That fact. I thought he was, just like, his, a hook or something. Yeah. No, I just thought it was his words was in, was in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kenny, New York, stand up. <laughs> Literally. And I, I'm, like, sitting there. I'm still listening. I'm, like, it just doesn't stop. I was waiting for her to switch the flows. Like, I'm giving her all these chances, but I, I can't I, fucking. I feel like she switched the flow in the no, third verse. The third verse, yeah, she switched. She, she switched. switched the flow. But that was on only, over it. I was about to say, that was ruined by the third verse. That was the only verse that I actually was like, okay, this is kind of the Nicki I was more expecting on this track. So I was like, I will never listen to this again, but I'm a bop for this little, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, couple yeah, seconds. I, I feel like if she hard. put her third verse in the second verse slot and just gone away with the whole second verse of the, the weird shit, it would have been a decent song. It's just, you can't have a five minute song and more than half of the song is you go, uh, 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 uh. It's just, <laughs> yeah. people aren't going to want to listen to that. There's yeah, no way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> shit is fucking poop. Bottom line is poop. 
I guess my only pushback to that is though, like you could say that, but at the same time, a person like Nikki would come out and say, "How is that fair?" Because you guys left the new age kids. No offense, but like Coyle Ray, Coyle Ray can do that shit all day, and yeah. her shit will go crazy. But why when the new age kid, why when the old veterans do that shit? Why they can't do it? We because the veterans came out with. What they came out with in the past. Now, yeah, like nobody in the past wants to hear that. They want to hear what's going on right now. That's cool. I'm not worried about what them, what they want. But I'm saying what we know Nikki for. We're going to hold her to that standard. That's why everybody, everybody is listening. I don't, no, 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 no. You, you're missing what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying, as her, you have to put your mindset on her families. Take your own what you grew up on, mm-hmm. Nikki, out of the equation. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, if Burr came out with this shirt. With this type of fucking material back then, we're like, oh shit, we're copping, we're copping, we're copping, and then the style changed, and the style you're not used to it, but now Bird has to appease to this new era. So Bird has doesn't really do too much of that style. He does more of the new style shirts now. You can't say, yo, I hate Bird shirts now. No, I can't. That's what I'm it's, saying. It's more so like, like we say, uh, music is relevant to time. Same thing with style is relevant to time. So there are gonna always be people who don't like your music, people For who sure. do like your music. So yeah, she. Well, that's her. what I'm saying. Like how would yeah. like what like it's, I don't know. To me, it seems it seems like a, it's an unfairness. Like I agree. I don't want to hear that shit either. But I'm just saying like as far as because Nicki Minaj is a, she's a she's an artist that will come out and say. Oh y'all will get on blah, y'all won't get on blah blah blah's ass, but y'all get on my ass for doing it. She's done it in the past with other things. The only rebuttal I have to that is, you don't hear some older rappers switching up to this new sound. Man. You don't hear Nas. Nas would never. You don't hear Nas rapping like Migos because oh, no, no, no. it's not gonna happen. For sure. So either she's if she's trying to tap into the new crowd, that's fine, but. You can't get upset when people are expecting you to snap like you're used to doing. For sure. And trying to switch up because maybe you want some more bread or you're trying to appease to the new audience. Well, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You have to, everything that we're mentioning, you have to stay relevant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not like... But do you think, It's only a certain caliber of rappers that say, yo, fuck that, I'm staying with my old shit. Nah, Nicki Minaj is not like that. Drake is not like that. J. Cole isn't even like that. Like, they're going to give you... J. Cole is a perfect example. He's not going to give you... He said for years it wasn't doing features until niggas got on his ass, and now he has to go body features for an entire year. But that's some that's because something is eating that, eating him up alive, and that's J Cole. Nicki Minaj is way more sensitive than J Cole, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I get it. I, 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 I'm, I'm with both of y'all for sure. I'm just giving a little pushback on no, that yeah. side. I definitely, um, I definitely understand that. But does she think that more people would listen to her if she had if she was spitting like she used to or uh, this new shit? I would love to- I would say the new shit because nobody wants to hear the old shit because you got a new demographic. It's kind of like what I was saying before when I had one of the topics when I was like, um, that we never really got to yet, but on one of the slow topics that I had, which was, do you think the y- younger generations listen to older music? Now, I didn't mean per se, oh, like the kids that are 16, 17, go back and listen to Oh, Noriega and shit. Yeah. No, but perfect example. I was in the car with my lady and her little brother. Not putting on no name, no more information like that. One random day we had on the radio. Rarely never have a radio. We rarely have a radio on like that. Had on the radio. We was going to the grocery store or some shit like that. Real something real quick. Uh, Power 99 came on. We had on Power 99. And they have the little quick segment where they throw it back to an older track. And it was Rick Ross, I think, and Big Meech. Mm-hmm. He, out of the back seat, said, who the fuck is this? And I damn near almost pulled the car over. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. You have a new age of kids that are now 16, 17, 18, 19, that don't even know about the early 2010s. Big Meech, all that Ross era, that was 2010, fam. Yeah. These kids were 7, 8 years old. It's 2022. That's, definitely, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I, I feel like it also... So, I don't... If you're going to try to change lanes, like you, you bought up Cole and Drake, right? They, Drake has touched every demographic he could possibly mm-hmm. touch at this point and until he pulls out a guitar and starts playing it himself. <laughs> um, J. Cole, like he says, said he was never going to do features, but then hopped on features. But what did they both do when they hopped in demographics? Delivered. Bodied it. Yeah. Delivered. So if she's going to hop in different demographics, you you got to come with that same energy. Like if you, you got to perfect that craft like you think drake just went in the studio and broke controller with ease like he tried and he probably didn't heard a couple different beats before controller was a thing mm. wrote 
a million different songs and oh, scrapped sure. all them joints. For sure. And then when he got the controller, he was like, I think I finally got it. For sure. And dropped it was a hit. Yeah. The shit that Nicki been dropping with these new demographics feel like she was like, they already know I'm the best rapper in the game. Yeah. They're going to listen to it because I'm Nicki. Yeah. I can drop whatever. Well, and she's not lying. Yeah, she's not. And barbs are going to get on people's ass if they say it's trash. <laughs> yeah. Was she wrong? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. So it's like, you... I don't blame her for getting on different different demographics. I'm just, from my point of view, yeah, I'm going to hold her to a different standard because yeah. I know what you're for capable sure. of. It's from probably, all of our point yeah, of view. Yeah, really. yeah, I just don't, I just personally feel like her last <clears throat> five singles that she's released I, within the last couple months yeah, have been rushed, <laughs> bullshit, garbage. <laughs> Lyrics, beats, features, garbage. All of it's garbage. I, I agree. I didn't like... Yeah, because... We had to get on Swayze's ass about them back to back little baby joints. Hmm. Dumb shits is bad. Yeah, you have two shit songs. With but little baby. But I agree, baby. though. Y'all ain't even have to get on me because I agree <laughs> with y'all. Like, you can't. It, you know it's bad when you pull out an artist that somebody really likes and they, they listen to this and they're like. Mind you, but I, can, I can tell you my favorite artist has shit songs. For sure. I can tell you that easily. Yeah. yeah. And we're, we're, I'm, I'm also coming from the side of. Maybe I didn't like the songs, but at the same time, I don't hear the songs anymore. Yeah. Like, I haven't... Granted, I'm not that big on social media and shit like that, but I haven't been in a car or been in a... And I'm, I'm, I'm outside for the most part. I'm not at clubs, but I'm outside. And I haven't heard these songs at all. Like, I haven't, I haven't seen... You know, Radio's people, not playing. That's what I'm voice. saying. Like, when I, you hear people drive by, it's none of that. I haven't heard it. It's fucking for you, Doug. It's all these other people. Like, I, don't, I haven't heard them shit, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, speaking of 42 Doug ACG, that free to sign is on, eh? Yeah, it's disgusting. It's, it's been weighing. Um, uh, today, uh, Vince Staples dropped Rose Street, single called Rose Street. That drum is all right. Um, I like it. Um, as far as hip hop, that's it for me. Oh, Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper dropped Child of God. Um, you might as well just say it's pretty much over for Chance the Rapper. Um, he's just taking it really slow. I um, like that. I loved it. I no, loved I like it too. It. Yeah. I didn't say it was bad. I'm just I saying he's taking a slow. Fire. I actually, I actually put it in my plate. And it's funny because when I looked at it, I went into it with the mindset of like, nah, I think chances he's done for. But then I turned. No, to I meant done for it as in like he's not really taking me seriously at all. Okay, like, that's a perfect example of not taking me okay. seriously. Yeah, when I when I turned it on, I was like, hold on now, this the heat. Yeah, yeah. I uh, it. it was poetry. Yeah, that joke was like poetry. They could make a movie out of this song. Yeah. And they did make a music video and it's fire. I didn't see it. It's like... Uh, Only music video I saw was a Summer Walker. I did. did. <laughs> no, it's like this girl artist. I don't know if he's related to her. I didn't really like look into it. I just kind of seen like a clip of it. And it has... I guess he's like... She's painting while he's like sitting there reading the lyrics. And it's like... It's right. like real simple and real basic. But that's... People will talk a lot of shit on Chance. And I'm a huge Chance fan. Really? Yes, huge. Me and, and my girl. I just want to get on all you chance motherfuckers that thought that he was going to take over Drake when the coloring book came out. That's all I wanted. No, it's different levels. Nah, uh, that's not when the coloring book came out. That wasn't a chance fan's energy. I never even heard that. To be oh, honest. it was you out never there. Heard coloring book? No, I'm talking oh, about. I he never heard people that. say oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake was going. Yeah. No, no, they were saying that he. He like, was the same way out of Zion. They were going to Zion, yeah, LeBron. No, nah, when Chance came out with coloring book, they was like, oh. He's about to get Drake the fuck out of here in yeah. a couple years. I'm saying, yeah, all right. I'm not You're even right. the biggest Drake fan, but you come to me and say something wild like that, I'm looking at you like, you stupid. <laughs> like, yeah, there's no fucking way. Uh, the rest I got, um, my baby Smiley's 0 for 2 and have 42 <laughs> Doug on there. <laughs> <laughs> David Smiley, how you got a shit with Drake and then all everything else is trash? You had me. Um, <laughs> I did not listen to the Wiz song. I liked it. I liked it. Okay. I liked it. Give me, give me something from it was, well, first of all, again, it was another one of those situations where it was good to hear Wiz again because I have, I the story don't goes. listen to Wiz no more. Um, it was it was a chill joint. You listen to it just when you when you try to chill on the highway, you try to calm down your road rage a little bit because somebody <laughs> just cuts you off. You can turn that on. Um, I was a big Chris verse. I like he, the, yeah, he's been doing his thing. He's, he's, he's just like the thing. way he flows on music. It, nobody else really does it like that. Um, I put Big Crit in that. Uh, I think is Big. I could be completely wrong. I think Big Crit is from the Carolinas. 
Is it north or south? I He's definitely remember. from like south. Somewhere. Yeah, I can't remember, but I put him in that. I don't know. He has so much soul. He's gonna be one of those artists that uh, once he like retires and once he starts slowing down, people are gonna be like, "Holy shit! How the fuck did we miss all this big crit music?" Yeah, for sure. Cause they should have timeless. He's sure. definitely like a vibe type guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Did anybody listen to the song with Lil Baby this week? I didn't even see it came out. There's a song that came out Rob with Rob 49? Yeah, I don't know who the heck that is, but... Nah, yeah. the only song... Uh, well, I'm gonna let Bird go, because I know you probably want to hype into this Fredo Bang Sleepy Hollow joint. I didn't even hear it. Really? Yeah, I didn't... Um, honestly, I was kind of broken a lot of all week. <laughs> oh, my I God! Mean, he, my God! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she did some shit on her... Like I said, it's so versatile. You could just listen to the whole thing. Yeah, facts. Like that's how it's really good. And it, it hits every fucking genre, I feel like. Uh, as far as, like, kind of what Sweezy was saying with that uh, little baby joint, the only song I listened to that had, like, a bigger feature on the side was this Rema and Chris Brown song yeah. on the R&B side called mm-hmm. Time and Affection. Before, before we get to that R&B side... Can I talk about this this Hoochie Mama shit by Buddy, whoever the fuck Buddy is? is. Oh, bro, man, I skipped that bro, shit. I wanted I, to listen to the Buddy album. Bro. I turned it on for the simple fact that I was like, Hoochie Mama, this got to be a club banger. Like, this got to be some <laughs> shit that I could turn oh, on and my I'm girl going, you feel right. me? Yeah, yeah, back shots going to go crazy now. Yeah. But, I, bro, I turned this shit on. It wasn't good. Bro, me. I hit the author meme as soon as it came <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I immediately turned that off. Like it wasn't like a party joint. It was more kind of like a. It wasn't what you're know. talking about. I, I I don't know how to explain what the hell that was, hmm. bro. Like I'm thinking, you know, everybody know what our hoochie mama. She ain't nothing but a hoochie yeah. mama. Who red, who red, hoochie. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, this gotta be a, a party joint. Like I was expecting kind of like a sample from that. It nah, it was. It was bad. Buddy. Bad, John. That, that ain't him, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like I said, Time and Infection, Rema, Chris Brown. Uh, decent song. Only reason why I really clicked on it was because of Chris Brown. For sure. Definitely, I don't know who Rema is, but uh, definitely be on the lookout if you have some more uh, songs. Besides that, the biggest thing in um, R&B was obviously the Summer Walker says the Cardi B. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cardi B, nice try, but you can't hang with real R&B voices. I'm sorry. <laughs> We know that well. I know that does. That's a lot of computerized. Um, that's about it. Sabrina Claudio. I'm probably the only Sabrina Claudio fan. She, that was a banger. Oh, okay. God, listen to it. That better, shit was heat. Better version. <laughs> that yeah. shit was heat. Sabrina Claudio. That's that's the gas. She's the gas. Um, She's got a project coming. I know my brother hates remixes. Okay. Absolutely hates remixes, but I did love this uh this song with Eric Bellinger and Tone yeah, Smith. I see it. I ain't click on it. Um, that go get it. Tone Tone Stith, absolutely, yeah. bro. I don't know I love what Tone is Smith. wrong with Tone bro. Smith. Buddy be going crazy on tracks uh, like my buddy. Tone yeah, Stith. Oh, yeah, my awful. <laughs> Not yet, yeah, but Buddy dropped some bullshit. Tone Tone Stiff hopped on that, bro. I said, <laughs> yo. Like, your lad, you have not missed since I found out about you. And that pressure, yeah. Even, yes, even with this remix, like, I personally don't mind remixes, but this, this John was crazy. Like, he, he absolutely spazzed out. I ain't heard Eric Bellinger's name. She that's one A one B over here. Yeah. Oh, God, bro. I ain't heard him. Um, I can give you bro discography. Facts. Bro. Facts. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, go and get it. Like, yeah, <laughs> facts. Um, yeah, that's about it y'all for me. Y'all ain't listen to the Mary J. <laughs> Mary J. And her. her. Yeah. I actually did hear it, but nah, I wasn't a fan. You know what I'm talking about? Only reason I heard the hold up before you think I just clicked on this joint. I was in the crib <laughs> cleaning, and I had my girl's phone, so I turned it on. She was like, just turn on a playlist on Apple Music, mm-hmm. and I seen it. You know, R and B. I just clicked on the first song and let it play. Like I didn't even read through it. Only. Only song I seen on there, I seen two songs that I, I knew, which the Normani John was on there, and I seen the What Simon Says John on there. No. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, this got some low key bangers on here, so I just played it. I was like, they must know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they must know what they're doing. <laughs> it wasn't. I think it said two songs on there. Oh, yeah, they got yeah, it. Yeah, they, they, they know what they're doing. Song 150 uh, SE2 or that. Uh, they well, gotta do first, something. I can I can tell you where this joint went wrong, and it was song number one. You wanna know why? Because song number one was no love. This summer, <laughs> summer Walker says in Cardi B joint. 
Summer Walker and Summer, obviously they're going to do their thing. But then when I heard Cardi B, I just was like, it, it don't mix. And I love Cardi B, actually. Um, yeah, I personally love Cardi B. Um, I love Cardi B. Yeah, I love Cardi. Um, but she's a little much at sometimes, but yeah, she she's a little ratchet. Yeah, y'all gonna have the barbs on me, y'all. But I'm gonna have the Cardi fans on me because I'm on y'all ass. Yeah, but um, yeah, nah, I, I was like, I'm cool off that song. I probably wouldn't play it again. But then the couple songs went by with some bangers, and then the Good Morning Gorgeous came on. I was like, yeah, it's not horrible. I just but like it. when I heard her voice, I was like, okay, yeah, she. she I feel like that would be a, that would be a good combination if they were to in their primes. Yeah, yeah. If, if Mary was in her prime, why not? Um, I'm say primes. Yeah, I'm say her prime. Not 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 if, prime. If, if Mary was in her prime, yeah, I feel like it should have been a banger song. But because I was like, like when I was listening to Mary, I was like, yeah, okay. Mary, 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 Aunt Mary, you know I ain't. Facts, that's Mary. I'm not going to blame you, bro. You feel me? She's a Mary, man. You always going to have my respect, five high leather boots, baby. You know I love you forever. But I'm probably not playing this joint again. Then I heard her. I was like, okay. Her doing her thing. I don't ever want to hear y'all two together again, though. I'm cool off it. But. Any other music, bro? What you tapped into? Nothing? Uh, Nothing in the R&B. MGK came out with his new album. Shit fucking. <laughs> that was I was bad. Say, I was don't never, ever. I was never listening. listening. Never listening. <laughs> his name was podcast. I, I don't mind MGK. I like MGK. This. Fam. It was not it. I listened to the. I got to the one. First of all, what is it? Broken down in a sec? Oh, no. It's a nah, feature. It's just the yeah, features. What type of time is it on? Is it rock? Yeah, it's like alternative, like Blink-182 shit. Next week on We Talk Culture, some, hell no. Some bullshit. The first four songs sound like the same song. Same. Do, 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 do. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, bro. The first one was good. It was different. And he switched it up. This? I don't know. I probably could have told you that shit was going to be some type of alternative. He on his rank shit. I could probably should have told you that from his recent pictures that he's been taking. I mean, it, it runs if you watch this podcast, bro. I miss you. <laughs> you change? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, music on the way. Yeah, I, I, I definitely miss uh, old Reigns. He tapping into his MGK bag. No, he tapped Shit into went one. He, he tapping went into one. his Nicky bag right now. He touched Nine a whole bunch of MGK different... bag. Yeah, he, he tapping into a whole bunch of I different mean, demographics. And people, people love this number shit. One. It went number one this week. And I was just like, shit drop. Shit was number 158 of this today. <laughs> the day it came out. That shit was so bad. Uh, I guess we're going to tap into our SOS session. Again, that was super short music week. Mm-hmm. Thank God, because we get a little bit of break, because we got some heaters coming. Fabio's coming, if not this week, next week. I'm excited for that. Kehlani's coming. Next week. He's 4-4. Four, 4-8. Four, four, eight. Right? Four, eight. That's something like that. next yeah. week. Yeah. Kehlani's coming at the end of April. Uh, Sabrina Claudio's coming. Somebody else is coming. I can't wait for Sin's that. Sin's coming. I can't wait for that fucking Kehlani shit. So, I can't bro, wait. all these Sin Summer Walker bitches Everyone who knows up. me, oh, bro. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> damn. I, I no, wasn't that was that a bad no, it, 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 oh, pissed me off. it pissed me off because she, when, when she dropped her last album, bitches were on it. Horny as shit on there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's that bad. Wait till this shit come out. Nah, Kalani really People forget is my about favorite Kalani. female artist. Yeah, I've been saying that for the longest. I love Kalani. Kalani. You I'll, got her over? Yeah. You got who over, Kalani? You just want to uh, tap in in a minute. Everybody has It's a debate, baby. but yeah, I, not to me. I think this album... I, don't, I, I personally, I was about to say, I can't say nothing because I personally don't listen to Summer Walker that often. Yeah. Like, I've listened, I listened I to her last album. I do think her last album was He's good. Yeah, easily. I think it was he. Um, but not Kalani. Yeah, she she different. That's the West, bro. Uh, I kept it simple. It was the same uh song I talked about last week. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you must really love that. Yeah, song. Love that. I love that song. Uh, it's Cold by Novi. Um, that song has had me in a full Nelson. Uh, <laughs> since it dropped, that drums had me. Had me in a yeah yeah that's literally, that's what I wanted to say but I, but I was like I don't know if they I don't know if they watch wrestling right, as they young boys so um, okay, then we got yeah, the like yeah nah like they, 
John had me in a guillotine, a rare naked choke, triangle to all that. <laughs> like I've been, I've been. But I get a rare naked choke. Bro, I'm, t- I'm, ta- I'm telling you, bro. I'm talking about they caught me in the in the shower, butt ass naked, and snatched me yeah, up. Like, they, what they, you they, talking they, about? Like, yeah, nah. I, they, so this song, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Bro, I be in my car singing at the top of my lungs. Like, if y'all get in the car with me and I put this song on, y'all might want to put in earphones. I'm like, you know, right now, bro, it's going to get violent. I just rode on the backseat window, so when you get on the highway, it's still like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. work. And I'm going to find a way to sing over it. I'm That's gonna, crazy. I'm going to plug a microphone into the aux or something and start singing through that, bro. We're going to move to the mic. Carpool yeah. karaoke. Yeah, yeah. Bro, no cap. Carpool karaoke. No cap. <clears throat> um, it's actually crazy. I'm going to expose Bird a little bit before he says his, but he went with a big dog. Um, so I originally wasn't, but well, I originally was, but I didn't. Again, I switched it, but I didn't. But then when I asked Bird for his SOS, I said, "Fuck, I'm gonna pull the plug on a big dog too." So I went. My SOS is Drake saying what's real. Um, for me, I added that song because that's my song. As of recently, I don't know why, but that's my song. Anytime I go, anytime I'm like down. On like my entrepreneurship, or anytime I'm entering, I'm entering a new area of entrepreneurship. So being though know, this podcast is brand new, um, it's a lot of new challenges and not a new time, not brand new time management type things that I'm going through personally. Um, so say what's real for me, Drake was on that type time. Um, it's over the Kanye beat. Um, what all the shit that he went through to get that shit cleared in the first place, but yeah, just the the penmanship on that song is from so far gone. Um, it was, you know what I mean, a lot of, a lot of versatile bars, him saying, yo, I'm not, uh, dropping out of college, um, being antisocial, um, I, I didn't drop out of college, but being antisocial, um, you know what I mean, just like, just like a lot of motivational shit for me personally. That's not like my life. <clears throat> right. Dropping out of um, college, being antisocial. Yeah, so that's like a lot, it's like a lot, so yeah, so, I kind of added that song just for like, if anybody wants to tap into like, Yo, just remember who you are and remember, like, because that's what that song is for me personally. So, yeah, I want Drake to say what's real. Uh, for mine, I know I've been uh, dishing out a lot of Kanye slander lately. Um, I wanted to pick a song off the Ye album. Honestly, it's not, I don't even know if it's actually an album, EP, whatever it is, but it's only seven songs. Um, this was like the last Kanye West that I remember enjoying listening to. Um, I like every song on this whole tape, but the one that I picked for my SOS was Ghost Town featuring Party Next Door. Um, the, so- the song is magical. I don't know how else to describe it. <clears throat> um, I remember the first time I listened to it, I don't know why, but it makes you like feel a certain type of way. Like right. the vocals on it are very different than what I'm used to listening to. Mm-hmm. Um, Every once in a while, whenever it comes up on my playlist, I can't, I can never skip it. It's just one of them good ones that's different. It's not super lyrical. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, it, it's got more of like a deeper meaning to it. Um, I almost picked Violent Crimes, but I just remember the first time I heard this Ghost Town, the feeling that I got from listening to it. Right. <clears throat> um, it's just a good song, man. A really good listen. Uh, Yeah. That's our SOS session, man. Like, definitely. If y'all are not tapped into this SOS session at this point, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to, don't know what to say. Um, I guess we could do this right now. What, let's let's give let's give the audience a theme for next week. Which are, what kind of SOS show I'm thinking about doing? I know it's kind of on the spot, but I'm just thinking about it. We can do like we can pick a banger from like 2010. 2010 to 2012, pick a banger from there. And we could do that. We could do like a song from a movie soundtrack. Um, Hell no. You could. There are some <laughs> good know. movie soundtracks. I don't know any movie soundtrack. I got a couple. Yeah, hey, I would uh, say I would have to look. Some, I like. Or we could pick an artist and just like. I don't know why I've been like on my old school like down south shit, like um. Not Young Jock, but like Young Jock. Three Six Mafia. Three Six Mafia. Yeah, um, I'm feeling that too. Juvenile. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of Jay Z, whoever, Gucci. Ooh, yeah. All right, we got we about to do that. So next week our SOS, we're gonna theme it. So it's gonna be more Southern bass rap. So 
I guess, well, no, trap, actually. Mm. So it would be Jeezy, Gucci. We're going to do, we're going to tap into that era. We'll pull a song from Jeez. that era. I'm going to have two. Yeah, <laughs> word. I'm going to have a couple. Wait, can we, wait, what what era are we doing, though? We could do one of We're going to do early, or? We could do new and old, or... Oh, bet. It's over. Something, something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bet. So we're going to give... So two we, different time periods. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to give two different time periods. All right, so what's next? We're going to do two different time periods of old school, southern trap. Not old school. Just southern trap. So we're going to do probably from like 2005 to like 2010-ish. And then we can do from 2011 to like 2014-ish mm-hmm. of southern. So Atlanta, fucking... Um, damn, I... I Georgia, Georgia, period... Um, Louisiana, all that type of shit. Florida. So, Florida, yeah. Should be a good jump. For sure. I got some shit cooking already. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's we Talk Culture Gang. And at this point, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, on to the show. Um, speaking of music, uh, I guess the, um, oh, no, okay. Uh, the iHeart Music Awards were this past weekend. Uh, so, I just want to give you guys a little bit of rundown of what happened. Um, Hip Hop Album of the Year, the whole season, J. Cole. Of Not too shabby. I keep forgetting how recent that shit was. <laughs> yeah, you can you be tripping. Like, I think it's, like, older than it actually is. Uh, Hip Hop Song of the Year is, uh, what the hell is this? Is What You Know About Love by Pop Smoke. I don't know that song. song? What You Know About Love. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Song of the Year. Yeah. A song of the Year? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's... <laughs> I ain't got a lot of Pop Smoke R-I-P? Fan, So... I'm... That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's wild. That's crazy. Hip Hop Song of the Year. Yeah. Hip Hop Song of the Year. What You Know About <laughs> Love, Pop Smoke. Okay. Okay. I feel like they did that just because... Uh, you can pick situation. another Pop Song, though. He has that's what songs I'm that were more, better than that. Yeah. Yeah, I just. And I don't remember that song. That's why I don't know. Um, oh, hip hop yeah. artist of the year. You already know. Say it. Say it with me. Do you think D R A K E. Do you think ten? No surprise. Um, Drake, hip hop artist of the year, best new hip hop artist, Young Blue. Well deserved. Uh, well deserved. This is where I... I wish we knew the nominees. Yeah, I should have gone, but I just randomly came across this genre. Um, this is where I kind of wanted to give up on life. R&B song of the year. Silk Sonic, Leave the Door Open. It's a great song. Amazing song. It's an award-winning song. Somebody definitely. say now. I, I definitely agree. Song of the year, my nigga? When's the last time you listened to this song? We don't want to last year. year. When's the last time that you listened to this last song? Year. Last year. Last year. When it was song of the year. <laughs> You're fucking smoking. Dude. I love that song. Smoking the fire. I love that shit, guys. Artist of the year for R&B, Jasmine Sullivan. Best new R&B artist, Gibeon. And another time I throw my phone is R&B album of the year is the Silk Sonic shit. I don't agree with that. That's a little while. Yeah, yeah I definitely don't agree. agree with that. I don't even know if An I... evening with Silk Sonic featuring Silk Sonic. I don't even... Yeah, I know like three songs. So how the fuck could... I think the one just ran it up so so huge that the numbers looked good for the whole album. Fuck that. I love Fuck six songs. I, I, I definitely don't agree with that. The album of the year is crazy. That's, <laughs> a, album. that's a little... I, I'm not mad at song of the year. I'm not. Um, but album of the year is that's insane. What was the last big R&B album from last year? Like, what was the big thing? Uh, I would have to look at the nah, no idea. Oh, last Bomb year? came out last year, but obviously That's they're not, not giving right Tory no. Damn, it's... Damn. My bad, Tory. You dropped two, two songs singles. And, we didn't talk and about I keep it, forgetting so. about it because you're not on the, your fucking blackball. So, like, when you scroll through the new tracks, we don't see your name. But I, I definitely have them. Um, the first too. one was No Cap. And then this one was Taking Care. Uh, no Cap, you were just talking your shit. It was basically... Bas- to my opinion... Oh man, you just tapped into something crazy. Mm-hmm. Dog, Fargo Fridays. Y'all artists need to pay the fuck attention, bro. Just take us, do something, bro. This nigga Tori Lane is putting out a visual and a song every Friday. But you niggas is dropping one song one song every five months and talking about why am I only getting five streams. Look at the fucking people in the game. They're giving y'all the fucking blueprint, bro. 
Fargo Fridays, these songs aren't fucking crazy, but he's literally giving you songs every week. It's something to hold you over. Exactly. And, of course, Tori, you know he can give you that caliber, so this shit, like what he said, it's something to hold you over. Again, no cap man taking care. They both was alright to me. Again, well, I'm biased. Uh, he's biased, too. We're Tory fans, so there's not too much that he can do wrong. Speaking of wrong in award shows... I'm here for the violence. I'm here for the violence. Chris, the Farrakh, at the Oscars, got slapped by Will Smith over a joke. Molly walked. He did get his shit smacked, boy. The internet went crazy. The blogs went crazy. Where did you do that? The fans went crazy. It was the Oscars. And he turned around and won an award after that. Did anyone see the Oscars, bro? Anyone? I don't watch that. And neither do I. I just want to know. Like, this has been on my mind so heavy. After he smacked him and went and sat down, and then he won the award, did Chris Rock have to hand that shit to him? No. Because I'm about to say, it's so show. that, I know that hurt his pride, bro. <laughs> like, that had to destroy. Cause There's he, no way. There's he, no you way. know, he was the host. Like, so it was like. Some good awards. Yeah, man, I will regardless. Regardless, if they made him give that award to that man, bro, that is the most. I, I might have throw it at his head, bro. Yeah, like, at, at that point, no, I, yeah, I would have just some disrespect for sure. I would do that shit to the crowd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I threw that Jada's bald ass head. Yeah, no, nah, that's I, fucked up. Man. Man. Facts. <laughs> what? Well, fuck, what uh, fuck, you're not gonna smack me at the Oscars. <laughs> I'll tell you that. You're not gonna smack me at the Oscars. <laughs> Somebody got to I, I had two sides of it. Like I got one side. I, I had one you. single side, and that's the the right the correct I, side. I, got I don't know what that. Yeah, I was saying that's the correct side. I don't got. I got. Well, mo- really, I got. A I got multiple side. sides. Yeah, but I still have one side that really annoyed the shit out of me. You want me to go? Yeah. You fucking women, because I seen a bunch of fucking memes of the Jada Smith face. Mm-hmm. Went over it saying, "Oh well, yeah, will that's not a, yeah, will that's not enough." Tupac would have shot, shot him. him, fam. If y'all don't <laughs> get the not f- enough. fam, y- if y'all don't get the fuck out of here with that. First of all, if any nigga that you ever dated was posting back to back to back of some woman that he used to date that that if she passed away, you bitch would be insecure as fuck. That shit really blew my shit. And then y'all wondering why men and women have some crazy divide because y'all keep doing dumb shit like this, like and y'all be championing that shit. That shit weird they as love fuck. That shit. Yeah, like, and on top of that, that whole situation in the first place, they kept they kept trying to pin it back to the August Alcina shit. If y'all really do y'all research on the Will Smith shit, they smacked him up. It, not even just that, but if y'all really do y'all research on the Will Smith shit, Will Smith was been cheating on Jada for a while ago, and they went through this shit a long ass time ago. But the internet wasn't that big yet. It was all those rumors of. Jada, I mean, a Will coming out of, like, hotels and shit with shorties. Her, him and Jada got caught coming out of stringers clubs multiple times, paparazzi. Yeah, like they got open relationships. Yes. Yeah. And now to come forward, now all of a sudden that she's doing something, and now, come on, y'all, y'all gotta stop with that shit. Y'all have so, to stop with that shit. That shit really blew my shit. I have, again, multiple sides, and now, now I'm just giving them all. Um, <laughs> but my, my first side is, like, I don't like that people are trying to portray it as, oh yeah, we'll smack him over a joke. No, there's a difference. More, you can't... It's more than that. There, so there's a difference between a joke and something being personal. Like, we could sit here and bid on each other all day. If we got on some fake Jordans or something, I don't wear Jordans, but if right. we got on some fake Jordans, oh yeah, that's getting pointed out. We're going to clown each For other sure. over that yeah. shit. But I would never in my life, if I know that your lady has some personal sickness or you have a sickness, I'm never going to be... Like, if you have freaking... Whatever, it don't matter. Yeah, if you have cancer, I'm not gonna be on here talking about some oh oh my shirt fate. That cancer not. Like that's yeah, that's yeah, weird yeah. as shit. Like anybody should smack the shit out you over that, especially over their lady themselves, whoever. Like, if it's a loved one, you're not gonna come and talk about my loved one's sickness. Like yeah, it's exactly. a joke. And that's, that's a, and that's if we together or not, for yeah. real, for real. Like, especially where there's kids involved and shit. Like, no. That that to me is unacceptable. So there's that side of it. There's also the side of me personally. I did not know that I don't follow Jada at all, so I didn't know that Jada had alopecia. I didn't um, so if if that was the situation, because anything is possible, if Chris Rock genuinely didn't know that and he just thought she shaved she her did, head, yeah. I can't get mad at Chris Rock. I still can't get mad at Will, right? Because yeah. like he don't know you don't know that. 
But I can't get mad at Chris Rock for making that joke if he genuinely didn't know. But if he knew and made that joke, you're really a bitch nigga, bro. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, that that's just how I feel, bro. Like I I love my favorite two comedians of all time are probably two of the most disrespectful comedians ever, and that's Bernie Mac and Cat Williams. My favorite two comedians of all time. I have never ever seen them make a joke about somebody's sickness ever. Neither have. Like. They they made some have, wild jokes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's they never, never made sickness, jokes yeah. about somebody's sickness. Like I just feel like there are certain things you don't joke about. You don't joke about sicknesses. You don't joke about people's deaths. Like I I can come to bro and, and be like, bro, my that, that's why your son got a big ass here. He's not gonna tag me over that right. shit because that's not personal. Yeah. But if his son just got out the hospital last week and I was like, that's why your son was struggling to breathe, yeah. bro, we rumbling over that. Oh my god. Like <laughs> we're rumbling over that. Like you can't it. I hate how people were trying to say, oh, no, Will was just at wit's end. No, there's a difference between people joking about August Alcina. It's like, okay, whatever. I'll take it on a chin. That's not, like, you, if if my girl was doing something and I decided to stay, I knew them jokes was coming. Right. Like, I knew yeah. them jokes was coming. I'm taking them on a the chin. But if I decide to stay, I'm still protecting my lady at the end of the day. You're not gonna You're not going to speak on her sickness. Especially, like I said, like, it's an open relationship. Like... It, it, that's been verbal. It's been verbal. Everybody knew that for years now. For fucking years, bro. The only thing I didn't agree with was doing it right then and there. She it, that look, look, this is how I look at things. This is just how I look at things. He disrespected disrespected her in public, right? Uh, you one of those. Yeah, so I'm I'm uh, checking him in public. If it's public, it has to be public. Yeah, like I, I feel I'm also one <laughs> the, of those the, people. The, like, disrespect, that's crazy, this, the, this, that's, the disrespect has to be as loud as the apology. Yeah, and I, I really am that oh, way. Whatever, like I'm I'm really that way. Like I I I'm not proud of this, but oh, uh, when we was doing Uda, I want more. I had a disres- My grandmother was helping me out a lot with that, but I had a disrespectful moment with my grandmother in front of the people that were also helping, and. When I realized I was wrong, I imp- I apologized in front of everybody. Yeah. Because my disres- my apology needs to be as loud as that disrespect that I gave to her. And I knew I was wrong. So, yeah, when you disrespect my wife in front of the Oscars on live TV for millions <laughs> watching, oh, yeah, you're getting smacked. But in the like, Oscars. But in front the, of millions watching. You're, the biggest, you're one of the biggest celebrities in the most... Two. Hugest mm-hmm. of celebrities in a room. Mm-hmm. For sure. You're not supposed to act like that. I don't give a fuck. I know you don't give a fuck. I'm saying Will Smith at his he don't at his fuck. time frame where he is in his career. He's I running shade. He got an award at the Oscars. He don't give a fuck. And that was first time smacking somebody. I'm about to say I think I think <laughs> I put I'm, I put Will Smith in that rock the rock category. He can do it. The Rock and Will Smith can come out with a fucking big ass needle of heroin in their arm. They gonna get five movie roles the next. Yeah. Like their money is never stopping. Yeah, they're never. Like, they will never not get. I nah, I don't care what level I'm at. If you disrespect, I'm re- and it's not even even all, all right. That so type you think? Time. Let me let me get this. Mm-hmm. You think this is the first time somebody's ever came at Jada like this? Public, at an public? award show, anything? I'm about to say public. Probably not. No, it, it probably, I doubt it. It probably isn't. But do I think this is the first time Will Smith? So why? Why, why, he, why did why he choose a I, comedian that's I, that's from his era right there? But because you gotta remember people's professionalism. So like or professional. So he I only mean, did it because it was for profession. Right. Sorry. I don't. Think yeah. So. so if Will Smith and Jada are backstage red carpet, and Swayze got or Bird got white man can't jump a bird a movie that just came out. And you're the star actor, and you give a joke. Will Smith is not looking at you. He don't even know who you are. But somebody has high level profession, like so. You said Oscars. You're only you are on stage, bro. It's not like you and like fifty other niggas is on stage. Only you. You're a comedian. Everybody knows you. Everybody knows your jokes. You're, you're held as a high regard. In the comedian world, you're you're the Will Smith, damn near. I'm one of the greatest. Right, you're the yeah in the will in a com- comedic comedic land. So it's like if you're saying it like that, uh, I don't know about getting on a stage and smacking. I don't know. I might be with Bird. See, I'm that. thinking I'm thinking like this. If you if you think it was Kevin Hart up there, and he says the same exact words, he's going up there and smacking him. Yeah, yeah. That's Cat. <laughs> I don't think so. He I, don't think he I know he would. No, no, no. I'm, I, 
I think the whole that whole scenario was kept because I don't think Kevin Hart would have the guts to even say something like that. Yeah, because Kevin he's Hart a comedian at the end. of No, the but Kevin. He's no, a comedian, but, but but again, here goes a, there's a line between jokes and being. No, not even, even. like what Swayze said with his favorite too. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart does not say no disrespectful shit. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart's comedy is family oriented. Not he when not you're hosting at an award. There's a lot of crowd work when you're hosting. Yeah, an award but you can. But it's joke. still I, again. I like I said. I, I could probably pull up ten like, clips of somebody saying some wild exactly, shit. About but somebody. again, it's not a sick. Yeah. Like I feel like I literally said this to my girl the other day. I was like, I honestly feel like Chris Rock could have got away with an uh, August Alcina joke before getting away with the alopecia joke. For sure, there's a I big difference. So, like there's a very big difference. Yeah, like. I feel like if Chris Rock would have made any other joke, he would have been good. Like, he wouldn't have been over there like, damn, that motherfucking car. That shit kind of hurt. I ain't going to hold it. If he would have rubbed his face, I really would have lost my shit. I don't think <laughs> If he would have said, oh, mom. If he would have even made a noise and held his face, I would have lost it. He said, Wait. Oh. Now, I do, want, I do want to tap back into what Swayze said about, I don't know about if he handed the award to him. But on the opposite side, I heard that Will Smith did laugh at first. He did. He, he did. did. That's why I'm confused. So <laughs> you you laughed at the joke that I just made because it's funny. It's I'm a joke. Shot. Benefit of the doubt. He looked there over. Two. See, Jaden not laughing. He's like, I gotta smack this motherfucker. Okay. Why does it make sense? So I feel like there's, <laughs> you laugh. there's two sides again to that. Um, so the joke started with this. I, I don't remember who it was. I don't know, like. A lot of actors' names. I just seen it was a white couple that was together. Chris Rock started with them, and Chris, Will was laughing at that joke. So I don't know if he was already laughing, laughing at that yeah. joke, and then he caught on late. Like, yo, did this nigga just got you, got you? And got you. also, it could have been the side of maybe he really did. Like, cause me personally, I didn't even get the joke. Cause like, again, I didn't, I don't know nothing about GI Jane. First of all, I no secondly, idea. I didn't know that Jada had alopecia. So when I, I didn't know that until I looked at it. When I first seen it, I I was on everybody else like he smacked him over a joke, and it was a corny joke. I, yeah. I didn't even get it. But um, once I found out the premise of it, I was like, okay. But like, say he did find it find it was funny, bro. How many times we might think something funny, and then our girl serious as shit, and we like, oh shit, maybe maybe I'm, it was. I mean, you I'm mean, talking I'm about not, some serious no, shit. Uh, uh, like, yeah, also, too. I'm not gonna go up there and smack bull at the Oscars, I am. bro. There's a difference. I am. I am. There's no way you're Will Smith. So how are you handling it? There's all so chuckles, nasty. all chuckles right there. Ha ha! Just like he did. You look over, you see Jada upset. Be like, don't even worry, it's cool. Blah, blah. We we hear. We all go to a party after this. He was dancing at the party after this. Yeah. And he, now he can enjoy the party because he got his fun. He got he already handled what he needed to handle. That's what I'm saying. Why can't he have to be on TV? <laughs> is all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, dude. The joke ain't have to be on TV, but it was. At, so, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If Will Smith was circles, hosting it, he's making jokes with people at the. I'm about to say you gonna go on circles. And you're telling me that man. you're telling me the greatest, the great, some of the greatest like Cat Williams and Bernie Mac and all that. They're they never made a the, Magic Johnson joke about him having AIDS for sure. They, they, they've never said that. that. I'm not. And that's a that's a life ending disease. Yeah, that is. So how's that? that ain't my fault that Magic didn't get up there and smack him because that. That's magic. But I'm that's, saying me as a person, I don't see Will. I don't find Will to be wrong for what he did because I would have done the same thing. If you disrespect my girl and I can really see that it hurt my girl, yeah, now I'm going to do something to you. Even though you laughed at it. I don't know if he laughed at it. He laughed. <laughs> I don't know. I see him laughing. He laughed at but the again, joke because it was a funny joke. We can't act like he wasn't already laughing from the previous joke before that. So we don't know if he was already la- like how Like how many times we didn't heard a joke from somebody we cackling at that joint, we're not even worried about the next thing you about yeah, to say. Right. So there As soon as he say Jada, I'm listening to what he's saying. Though. Yeah, that's where I that's where I would kinda tune Okay, in. there it could be like he could have said Jada he could have like I said, when something is already hilarious like we didn't have these like, when I was looking at my stuff in the street, you wasn't worried <laughs> about the next joke. You feel me? I for for those wondering if I didn't get kicked out of nowhere for y'all thinking I was homeless or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like when, when I was looking at my stuff in the street and then looking at the officer and then looking back at my stuff in the street. He was at a yard sale. Yeah, like I'm not, you're not worried about the next book, bro. That happened months ago and you still get a great laugh from that. 
<laughs> so it, how can I just put myself in that? Yeah, fact, I put myself as a, a, a bird in a tree. Yeah. 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 Now, bird told you a joke right now. You're not really thinking about that joke, but you Depends might. Depends on what he said, though. But you might catch on to it late. You feel me? Because you already missed. Not if he says. Not if he says JC on. I'm like. So, all right, what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. Like, like, me personally, like, I feel like if you got to come up with that many scenarios, I think I just don't think it was right. Nah, I, me, There's a time and a place. If he wanted to handle it, he could have handled it. And he yeah. apologized, so, I mean, he, I don't yeah, know. He also said he felt like a dickhead afterwards because like it wasn't that, right. I just feel like that was for the media. I, yo, yeah. s- no, I me, mean, I, that's a small part of it. That's like my smallest side, which is, this shit's. Is for a song. Well, at first I thought it was fake, to be honest. Did me too. It even looked fake the first time I watched this. And did he even touch him? Like, did he even nah. yeah, I it watched it. I said, he was like, too I thought it was. I thought it was. He went up there like, hey. yeah, or he yeah. Yeah. shit. Jesus. I thought it was fake for uh, multiple reasons. Uh, first reason being, Chris Rock didn't really like react. Like he he was just too he just calm about it. it. Like he it's was just like, like, wow, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Like he kept it as a joke. Because it's on TV. Oh, right? you supposed to, you sh- was he going to fall to the ground? No, oh, swing back. Because that's what I would have did. All Fox. Oscars would have been Whoa. over. It sounded like he <laughs> wanted to come back at him also. But. A little bit. Like when he was walking, he was like, you. And he's like, huh. What? <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> I thought he was about to go off on him. I'm like. But as a host, he, he ain't trying to fuck up that bag, I imagine. Hell no, bro. Because they can say, oh, you're never coming back again. Yeah, and you're, you're never coming back again. I'm surprised Will Smith is still, still cool. Bro, at, yeah, at some point, my, moral, yes. my morals is more worth more than a bag, bro. You're not hitting me and, and just walking off, bro. I'm, now I want to beat the shit out you in front of your wife. Now I want to add insult to the injury. Yeah. Um, looking at it from Chris Rock's point of view, again, I still think Chris Rock was wrong. He deserved that smack. But, yeah, nah. So what if Chris Rock beat the shit out of him on stage? He's the bad guy. Yeah, he was defending himself. So, and, and they were not gonna say that he was defending. No, I'm, I'm talking about from. I thought you were asking about my opinion. <laughs> my opinion? No, nah, he was defending himself. Cause okay, yeah, the Oscars you, is not you coming back went, ever. That, that's and not, it'll never be. It yeah, listen, movie ever my mor- my morals. I can give a fuck about that. Um, like if you, I mean, we're not movie stars either. You're right, but I'm saying if you if. This podcast was to blow up, and we was at no, some dude. freaking. Uh, when this podcast blows up, and we're at some award show, vlogging it or whatever the case may be. Is oh no, that's what I'm saying. I don't care. Exactly, I we're, don't not worried about it. <laughs> we're not worried about it. We're not worried about it. Oh, okay, we can't come it. back, and that's gonna get us the views anyway. Because now we just start right, But anywho, no, anywho, like <laughs> nah, no, bro, no, like no, you're not gonna if. You disrespect my girl, you're getting smacked. But I also gotta be, pre- be prepared to win that fight. If That's I went right. up there and smacked you and you dogged the shit out of me, I would have drop kicked him down the steps. As soon as he turned around, he's like, <laughs> bro, I'm I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's said, the lane, too. I literally said to my girl, like, yo, even in the moment, like, in the moment, because when I seen him walking up, especially because, like, we all said, we seen him laughing originally. We don't know if he was laughing at that joke or the past joke, whatever. He was laughing originally. When I seen that and then the camera flipped to Chris Rock and then I heard the oh, like when Will was walking up. <laughs> oh, I seen I'm thinking it's yeah. about to be, I'm thinking it's about Where? to be another um, fucking, what you call it, Lavelle Crawford and uh, Mr. Brown when they was flaming each other at the one award show a while back, a long yeah. time ago. I'm thinking he about to walk up there and make jokes with him because again, I didn't understand the joke. I didn't know it was about a sickness. So... When I seen the smack and thought it was fake, me personally, I probably would have froze up like, did he just smack me? <laughs> but by the time he would have been turning around to sit in his seat, I'm right here. <laughs> like, I'm cocking it. Find the out the like, <laughs> Z. That's a cutscene for the screen. Screen would have been fat. Find out. Will Zayvon return yeah. retaliate? Bro, I'm telling you, bro. As soon as he would have turned around, like, he wanted to use the sit down, because he. You know when he did yeah, it, you gotta, gotta, yeah, like, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta. He did men in black with his bitch. Okay, ass. yeah. When I walk up behind you, you gonna turn around and sit down. You gonna hit one of these, and I'm gonna be right <laughs> here. <laughs> and your reflexes better be quick, because as soon as I hit you, I'm not letting up. The whole everybody's going to have to tackle me, bro. I was waiting for him to make another <laughs> joke once he sat down. Oh, that's what I. That's I what I would have. I would. Yeah, fired. you would have. I would have had to fire him. I was like, I'm gonna smack the shit out of your wife's head like you just smacked me, pussy. He's going, you're going to hell. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying, you're not 
gonna do that to me at the Oscars. I don't care who you are. Yeah, nah. I, I, I the shit blew me because he won an award. <laughs> that's he won the Oscar. Nah, that's yeah, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, a, that was an Oscar. That's the most thug history moment I've ever. That's, seen a, that's low life. key a thug. Yeah, that's a thug history moment. I he started know. trying to fake crown that shit. He wasn't sorry about that shit. Yeah, nah, <laughs> that that boy smacked him. Went and sat down. I, and then another reason I thought it was fake because nobody like even if you listen to the crowd like when he got sm- everybody was already nobody oh, did when he like was walking up there because again they probably thought what I was thinking oh yeah they about to go at it but even when he smacked him it wasn't like no like no <gasps> no oh everybody like it was just, just yeah, like it was, just... it was normal so I was like bro there's no way this is real but then when he sat down I heard to keep my wife's name. Out your fucking Why mouth. Are you screaming that shit. That yeah, shit I was like, fun. okay, maybe he was serious. I said, oh, shit. That's how I knew it wasn't fake. Nah, and then I knew Chris was pussy because he was like, I I will. He said, no, I will. You will. You better make an August Alcina joke or something, bro. <laughs> Fight back. <laughs> I, was waiting to see the, I was waiting to see the World Star video afterwards and them out back. Squabbling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where's squabbles at, man? I, know, I think I by, the time we, by the time we got to that, I think he had already yeah. apologized and shit. Yeah, and no, 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 uh, squabbles, man. I'm not condone violence over here. I do. <laughs> I'm here for the violence. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when a certain time's coming. I'm taking out his knees. Man, yeah, nah, that's wild. And then you got Jaden talking about some, uh, yeah, that's how that's how we do it. And then somebody posted yeah, the video of the karate shit. kid joint and the Chinese boy smacking taste out of his mouth and was like, This you? Bro, I lost <laughs> my mind. I lost my mind. You said this you? you? I forgot about that. Uh, I didn't even see Jaden. Come no. on, Jaden, shut the fuck up, dog. Oh my that's god. Do. Like he don't get his shit kicked in every day. Yeah. Bro said. Bro said, bro, your man's was in the crib smashing your mom, but you were sending uh, when you were sending sex text to uh, Tyler the Creator, bro. I was like, yo, y'all are wild, bro. That. That's tough. They was on his ass. Damn, bro, ass. God bless. Okay. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's we talk culture gang. gang. And at this point, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, on to the show. Yo, who can? Nah, <laughs> I, I say gay people. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. Y'all. Speaking of that, <laughs> I had a y'all gotta relax on male birth control, but I'm gonna let that slide. Um, I'm popping that bit. What? I'm popping that shit. Like a smarty. Uh, I think he was looking at me to not agree with you, but I'm right <laughs> with you. No, no, no. <laughs> what? I need a 30 day split, pop. <laughs> what you, what you got? Uh, birth control 30 back there? <laughs> Let, Let me get wait, the subscription. What? I'm yeah. crushing that bitch up. Uh, I'm putting it in my smoothie and everything. I'm going to be real kinky with it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a martini with my birth control. <laughs> Alright, so we just had a conversation about <sighs> Chris Rock and some personal things. So I'm not going to say anything. Because <laughs> we know how birth control acts with women. So what the fuck thinks y'all niggas going to be different? Oh, yeah. Fuck, no, I'm already right, fat. Give me the weight and everything. I'm already fat. Fuck it. <laughs> give me, give me the weight and everything. Uh, sports. <laughs> um. Oh, shit. Uh, shit. Never mind. Yeah, sports. Um, I got um. So we got uh, March Madness. I've been missing every game. Same. Because I'm a G. <laughs> but I do know that it's uh Duke versus UNC and Kansas versus Villanova. Damn, Villanova made it. Villanova looks good this year, too. They might fuck And that boy just went out, though, but um, he got hurt. Mm-hmm. The one boy at the Braves that was killing the Lord. Yep. Um, I got a conspiracy that I've heard, mm. which was, is it safe to say that sports is rigged if Duke wins it all? Because this is Coach K's final run. How could people say that when the Patriots have been doing that for years, though? It was just something I've seen on the internet. No. <laughs> I smoke. Yeah, but um, you would, is it a conspiracy or is it greatness? Only reason I can't say it's a conspiracy is because I haven't been watching Duke to say like it's not like I've been hearing. Well, Duke they didn't make it me. last year. They lost. They haven't made it since a minute, at least a good five years. A and now all of a sudden, but college college is so different because one year can really change everything yeah. depending on who you pick up. Like, oh for sure. I don't um, think you can rig college basketball. Nah. Everybody is playing their hardest. I disagree. I'm trying like to get anything to be rigged. Like I disagree. Like, yeah. How? How so? It's the same thing as public. It's the same, same thing as regular public NFL. If you 
paying off refs and this that. Not even. Thing. Well, he's talking about that, but I'm speaking of. I'm speaking of real life rigged. Like how? Like they're saying you guys are gonna win this game? No, no, no. I'm talking about real life. I'm talking about recruiting, finances, and shit like that. Oh, you yeah. know that the, the, scenes, the yeah, top yeah, yeah. high school players for years have only went to that's not five rigged, schools. That's just like crooked. That is that's just like crooked. That's rigged. <laughs> That's yeah. rigged. Rigged is like you guys are going to win by five. No, that's, that's rigged. rigged. Because that school over here doesn't have as much finances and all that shit as your school. Then, but that's because y'all have more money. But why doesn't that school have more money? That's like saying the Yankees are rigged. They have five times the amount of salaries than anybody else. And that's why they have 27 fucking World Series. But they ain't winning how long? Mm. We ain't winning in a minute, bro. Since like... In a minute, bro. No, it wasn't that long. Yes, it has been. It's been a minute since we won, bro. So. I'm almost positive it has been. We, I'm gonna Google it right now. I'm almost positive it's, it's been it's, a minute. I, I can't include myself on this conversation because I, I, I deem myself a Yankees fan when he had. Fam, my last one was 09. Yeah. That's a minute, bro. So that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. It's like, yo, you guys haven't won shit in years, which I, which I agree at the same time. Yeah, college sports is the most. I think it's the most spontaneous out of all sports, period. Whether it be football or basketball. And also, before, you couldn't pay college athletes. It would only be, like, nicer nicer facilities you might have. Some better, like, coaching, like, mm-hmm. workout you plans. You couldn't, but it was. What? Right. Paying college athletes. Yeah, agents were yeah. definitely paying. Yeah, I mean, until they got But that whole thing, but that whole, the whole argument with that is what Deion Sanders is doing. Yeah. I mean, making people, kids go to a Jackson State, making these top. Okay, you can go to your bird, the quarterback coming out of wherever, and you want to go to USC, Florida, all these top schools. Okay, Deion Sanders has I'm proven to you that Jackson you, State. Yeah, no, he has proven to you that yo, you can go to these big names. Some these you, a lot of times you guys are going to these schools because of the name and their lineage. Yeah. That's a rig, bro. That's a rig. That's a rig. That's a rig, bro. It's not really a rig. That's a rig. It's like saying I want to play for the Sixers because I love AI. It's not rigged. It's not a rig. That's what I said. Sixers doesn't have a winning li- lineage either. I'm talking about teams that have winning lineages, teams that have been in the finals. You know, when it comes to college basketball, you're speaking of a couple teams, and that's it. You just now getting Villanova. Well, the bigger names, yeah. Right. That's what that's, that's all I'm saying. That's not being a rig, though. That's being a rig. Yeah. Um. Uh. Well, yeah. After that. I had, um, well, I just still speak on the Final Four, but I did have the uh, St. Peter's that ran into UNC and takes the L. Had to um, stop eventually. Yeah, that was People did get paid off that St. Peter's game, though. They had St. Peter's winning the game before that. The spread was plus 600. So if you put $100 in the game for them winning, Dang. you got 700. That's tough. A couple of my friends said, I said, I should have done that. And then uh, this is the first time UNC Duke meet for the first time. Uh, in the final four, forever, right? Like, and ever, yeah, yeah. First time, first time. It's crazy. Uh, you guys, well, you don't watch, but I think Duke's going to win. Duke probably going to win, but I think they're not going over. They're going to lose in the championship. <clears throat> to who? Villanova. Villanova. Duke final. Villanova's going to win. By who? The South of Delaware. A bunch of shooters. Shooters, yeah. Living by it, but them motherfuckers don't miss. Best shooting team, I think, in the bracket or all season has been Villanova. Um, what else do I got? We got uh, NBA. Uh, I was speaking of Swayze. Um, Kyrie's first debut at the Nets home game. Uh, vaccine mandate was lifted on New York. Kyrie played his first game, and the Charlotte Hornets come through, and Lamelo drops seven three. <laughs> this nigga's mid. Uh, and they lose. And if they get blown out. That's tough. They had a big lead, right? Huh? They had a big lead. Yeah. They? It was like a 20 point lead or something. They choked it. The Melo ain't care about none of that shit. Yeah, yeah the Melo was shooting the fucking lights out. You say what you want about that man. He's a great ball player. You can't say much more. Um, We got the uh, Miami Heat. Insider over here as Jimmy Butler and Udonis Haslam. And, I already knew that was going to be bought up. And, and, and the best coach in the league gets Spo. into it on the sideline. Spo. Um, 
They pieced it up on some Chris Rock shit. Yeah. I'd, Apparently. If you notice, I would have smacked him on a geek. I would have too. If Eric Fulcher would have smacked him on a geek. <laughs> I would Jimmy have Butler was smoke. Cause Spoke might have got done dirty. At least, I, at least Hasel would have. You feel me? It been a good rumble, but um, or at least I would like to think it would have been. You feel me? You, you never know who can fight and who can't. But Hasel um, whooping his fucking. <laughs> that's what I, I said. The same thing. I was like, I don't know, bro. Oh, he looked like he really liked that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but I, I just need them to get out of whatever this funk they got going on is, bro. We no, got... stay right there, because the Boston Celtics is number one in the East. Number one in the East. Number one in the East. What you didn't hear? Yeah, fuck you mean. He might want to check the stats, guys. Yeah, I'm about yeah, to. Oh, no, 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 no. I have them for you right here, my boy. No, they definitely first in the East about... When the hell did that happen? Shit. I literally just checked, like, a day ago. Not yesterday. Cause it was Friday. Saturday. What do you mean? Might be fourth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, bro. I swear. Nah. No. <laughs> I was like, yo, I know I'm not bugging. Something seems yeah, no, who's number one? Something seems up. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh no! I ho, ho, ho. I, I'll help you. Who, who's that saying? No, it's one, one right next to him. The Suns. That no. <clears throat> Check the other side. <clears throat> oh, the Raptors. Oh, the the Heat. The, the Heat. Yeah, they, I yeah. Don't know the Trailblazers, Logan. Yeah. No. <laughs> Nah, we uh we still number it's one. It's all like a game. It's all like a game behind. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We're, we're literally one game. It's behind. a four way tie for first. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Literally. Uh, well, no, no, no. Uh, Sixers and the Bucks have a better record than us. Yeah. Um. They have a better. You should have checked Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Monday. I don't know when this is updated. Google eyed. Yeah. Uh. But nah. Uh, if the Sixers win their next game and we lose, Sixers take number one. For the day, yeah, and <laughs> for, the, for the year. But for the year. I'm looking at our the rest of our schedule, and we could snap out of it. We should easily win out because we play y'all by mass. Shitty, you have a shitty schedule. Um, you talking crazy? Yeah, we play y'all by mass. So we, I know that's a dub free. That shit is free <laughs> cash. But I got my um, wallet right here. I mean, yeah, you already know I'm always down to best. So Sounds I'm, great. You just better not lose. Yeah, I'm right. coming <laughs> talking. Yeah, I'm always I'm wearing the Celtics best, jersey so. and all. Facts. But um. Yeah, hopefully we don't do some bullshit for the rest of the season because no, no, you are. We sh- we shouldn't lose another game. Y'all gonna make Spoke fucker and retire. I hope <laughs> not. I'll be I'm gonna be sick, bro. If Spoke retired, coaching there for a while. Long ass time. Yeah, he, uh, he gotta get some. I think flat. he he came right after 2006, right? I think he came in like 2000. Like 20 years almost. It's been a while. It's been definitely been a while, but yeah, nah, I. <clears throat> it's like I said to y'all in the messages. It's gonna look so bad if Jimmy, if it gets to the point where he has to leave. It was already bad before that. Like before, the it, it was bad. bad. But he's been doing good since he's been on the Heat. Like what's it been? What three years three he's years. been there? And he got a bunch of young boys that's not gonna bump heads with him now. You um, guys not going for him. that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that's very true. That is also that is definitely very true. He probably be fucking bossing these whatever, boys around. Like whatever the reason may be. Ain't nothing been bad about Jimmy in the media for the past couple of years. So Maybe like, yeah, hey, listen, Tyler. I don't know why Tyler really should be talking <laughs> shit to Jimmy, especially the way he I playing this year. You on your way out? I'm on I see you doing the other day. I uh, said, hey, oh my yeah, god, man, Tyler has been hooping this year. So um, actually, I feel like we lost more games without. Tyler than we lost without Jimmy. Yeah, really? Like, you no, know, wow. Tyler has been going and insane. Like Jimmy's in, they prioritize him. Um, that's that's why. And Tyler's I don't understand why, because Tyler's our leading scorer now. That's yeah. why. Like, they yeah. focused on Jimmy. But um, the minute they go to Tyler, Jimmy you're gonna have forty. No, no, no. I'm no, about to say I doubt it because Jimmy, for one, sure. Jimmy is shooting insanely bad this season. Jimmy would never worst three point percentage. Excuse me, I believe he has the worst three point percentage in the league right now. Um, yeah, Better like Jimmy. Than Russ? Like Jimmy is. Oh, so y'all need him? Fuck no. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> All right. No, at least, at least Jimmy gonna strap up, give us a couple turnovers after he missed some threes. <laughs> and Jimmy not gonna average five turnovers a game. So I'm, I'll take Jimmy. I, I'm cool. Yeah, you never seen him in a burn. Um, you never know. Yeah, Jimmy ain't banging on somebody either. Jimmy also ain't missing wide open layups either. So I'm just. And I hit the top of the top of the back. On minis. <laughs> Jimmy gonna knock down his minis. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Jimmy gonna do. Jimmy might put you in a post baby you and then knock down yeah. the mini. 
if you Russ gonna shoot that joint wide thing. open, <laughs> and it's gonna hit the shot clock. They all sagging off. <laughs> <laughs> they sagging off crazy on it. Oh shit! The fucking shot clock. My fucking left a rent. That shit falling down. Nah, yo, keep it choking on it. It's choking on it. He's like. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't want to go down the second seed because the thought about playing the Nets first series is insane. Is insane, especially with Kyrie being able to play every game now. Yeah, the, the that's only scary. the Nets gonna be in trouble if they if they don't play Toronto, they're gonna be in trouble because Toronto the only place he can't play. Yeah, but they play him first round. They well, if he can fuck them, but they can play anywhere. I'm about else. to say he probably won't put. Wasn't last time I checked they were supposed to be playing Toronto in a play in unless it changed it did change. Who did they play in a play in? They played the Cavs in the play. That's actually kind of scary. People, I was about to say crazy. people been right be writing the Cavs off. The Cavs be Cavs hooping, right. hooping. For real. Yeah. So I would not be surprised if they mess around and lose to the Cavs in a play in, and then they beat like the the Hornets or the Hawks, whoever wins out of that matchup. Yeah. They too worried about LeBron dunking on Kevin Love. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the Lakers probably not even gonna make the playoffs. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, last in the NBA, I got um, Zion trolling, hitting that weak ass dunk. Oh yeah, he's yeah. After reports of a foot or, in, foot injury, he comes through with the, the East injury. Bay Joe. I smell cat. <laughs> Somebody's capping. He just baited shit out. I was about to say, I get out. I was about to say, it wasn't nothing weak about that shot. That, that, that Joe was that, aggressive. <laughs> If I said I have a foot injury and I go up and do that, and a East Bay, bro, you're not talking about a rim razor. He did an East Bay, like that. What if I'm remembering correctly? It was an East Bay, right? Mm-hmm. Like no, bro. All right, bitch. I ain't talking about the dunk. I'm talking about him coming <laughs> out with a foot injury. And no, that's dunk. what I'm saying. Like you can't come out and say you got a foot uh, injury and then come out and do a tween the yeah, legs yeah. dunk. That's a dunk contest. <laughs> <All> <laughs> right. Right. I got a ten left. Right, right. 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 Nah, he. I don't know. He, what is he, he doing? Gotta, he he, he, he milking that shit out. Yeah, he milking that shit Like I said, he's going to say, I'm no good. CJ trying to uh, look out for bro. Bro's not coming back, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well chalk that. Yeah. Uh, you guys got anything in the NBA as far as that goes? Uh, yeah, I have not. LeBron and AD are out. Wait, what? Tuesday versus the Mavs. LeBron and AD. Yeah, they lost him. They, it was a hard, it was a hard win with LeBron. Yeah, literally. Yeah, LeBron I mean, they, had to, yo. I, I think just he watched, sprained his ankle or something. Oh man, what did I watch LeBron? Uh, who did they just play? They just played fucking somebody and they lost like, after being up for the entire like game. Yesterday, he just played or uh, it, past week maybe. It was the Hornets, wasn't? It? Mm, I don't know. had twenty. Or when they were down by twenty. That was it. No, 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 right there, right yeah, there. They lost Brandon the Ingram is going to the, the pub. Uh, Brandon Pelican, Ingram Pelican. was giving buckets. Yeah. I said, oh my. They could not guard him in the fourth yeah. quarter. I don't know what the fuck happened. He was smiling. He had potential. Bro, I know Bron choking people out in the locker room, bro. 39 and 10, man. Bro, but when you're taking on the shots, how is anybody else supposed to score? Would you Who take all the shots with the way they be shooting? <laughs> I'm not passing nothing. You can't pass. You can't pass. It. The first time you pass the ball is past halftime. I'm not gonna make that shit either. You gotta work it in. It's gotta be a team game. Everybody touch the ball. No. You can give me an open shot. If it's the second half and I haven't got the ball once, I'm gonna miss that bitch. Uh, people actually. Well, Russell only took five shots. Oh, Russell was getting to the line a lot. How many freaking? The point guard has that? five shots. That's an issue. Wait, I'm what was sorry. stats, Russell? Uh, what was stats, I, I said it wrong. Russell had a lot of shots. He had 15 shots. Malik Monk shot 17. Malik times. shot. Malik shot. Malik Monk went crazy. Um, those are. He's done, he's like he's like he's gonna be the number one scorer. He has to be. He's the only one. Can't expect Russell to do that shit. Oh, Bron had more turnovers than Russ. Yeah, he's got the ball every position. Russ had a negative. I mean, Russ wasn't too far off. Let's not get it to it. <laughs> <laughs> but Russ had a, a worse plus minus, though. He, yeah. Well, you're going to get that. Yeah, you're going to get that. Right? You're going to get that every day. <laughs> um, that's about all I, all I have for the NBA, um, NFL. Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins. Fucking crazy tree. Um, and there's rumors. Probably not gonna happen. I don't know, but there is rumors 
of Tom Brady going to the Miami Dolphins. And that's because a couple years ago, Tom Brady was interested in buying the Miami Dolphins as a team. And if you want to be, quote unquote, uh, what's the word, semantics man, he just unretired. He didn't unretire to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He just unretired. Yeah. So he's he's technically a free agent. Yes. Mm. So he could go to the This man's about to retire as a Miami Dolphin. Fucking <laughs> no. That you, might be the dumbest thing. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that. He's right there already. Though. You're in Tampa. Tampa's up here, Miami's down here. Yeah, but if your whole every eight hour near, drive damn near damn near every ring you have is with the Patriots and you're gonna retire as a Dolphin. That's just same sounds same, crazy. same job. Same uh ain't that the same I uh, feel like division? Tyreek is weird together. Nah, you're crazy. Nah, that's a bad They'll have 800 yards a game. Yeah, that's a nasty The reason I say that is because... And they don't, don't they already have somebody there that's nasty? <coughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a... Uh, they uh, Miami already Waddle. has somebody Waddle. there. Waddle. Waddle. Wait, is it Waddle? No, no, no. Yeah, it's something like that. Miami already has somebody that's nasty. It's a young boy. The only reason I said that is because of the way Tom Brady played. Like, he's dink and dunk. Like, he wants the short passes, blah, blah, blah. Tom Brady runs a lot of slants, though. Mm, I feel like if you put him in a in like a Wes Welker role, like Julian Edelman role, he's I don't freaking. think his hands is like that for a Wes Welker role. Huh? Man, all them Tyree? passes, all them passes he dropped on the Chiefs, Bro. he dropped some crazy passes. That's not that Tom Brady. That's not like, Tom Brady throwing you though. This is different. If it Look, gets in right your hands, why does it matter who's throwing it? Right here, one day ago, Miami's Dolphins head coach comments on Tom Brady trade rumor. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Saints added uh, Andy Dalton. Really? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Ooh. That's a tough job. What was I going to say? Um, a lot of people were upset at the Browns for giving uh, Deshaun Watson a deal because he had all that um, drama outside. Right. Um, they kind of just put out a statement saying that they stand by him, that he's innocent. And, right. I mean... Not really much. Not personally, yeah. I, I don't even know what happened with him, but I just feel like it's a little too... People are so... when it, Especially when it comes to black men, mm. I feel like people are so quick to, as soon as something comes out, yeah, he's guilty, he yeah, did it. Yeah, we know he did it. Like, I'm, I'm the, I've am i never been the person to, until you're proven guilty, to just be like, to write you off. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I was just saying, I've, I've never been the type of person to write you off uh, if... You have to be <clears throat> guilty, whether well, no matter who you are. This is America. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's a sports session again. Um, it's probably if Brady goes to the Miami Dolphins. They, well, first of all, I think this is already the NBA. Uh, what is this? Off season trade? Like, what do you call this right now? It's like trade deadline. Trade deadline, off season, whatever. Off season for the NFL. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the NFL is probably this shit's probably overshadowing the NBA a little bit. Fuck you. Yeah. Because every team is getting a banger. Yeah. Every team uh, is trading. Obviously, it depends on what you fall on more sports wise. But if you're just an overall fan and you just enjoy sports, I'm pretty sure the NFL probably has more banging news right now. Nobody really cares about Kyrie. <laughs> I mean, he going crazy, but... Nah, I was about to say this shit. I do. I mean, we do. back play all we time? Do. Yeah, oh, yeah, we do. But I'm saying, as far as, like, the news goes, like... Yeah. Um, get us our sports section. Um, you made it this far. Make sure you guys go down and subscribe. Comment on any things that we go to. Like the video. Share it. But we're going to get right into this Garbanzo Bean of the Week. Bird, what you got for us? Uh, this week, I kind of fucked up because I sent it to y'all a little prematurely. I don't, I don't even know. Figured, I, Plus, I, I don't, don't even I know, know what you're talking about. I tried to listen to it at work and it kept <laughs> chopping up. Yo, this shit. It, I just thought y'all would think it's funny because this is how like the older generation sees the new generation of like rappers that like I like mm -hmm. a lot of like West Coast like Detroit rappers. So you just have to watch West it. Coast Detroit. No, oh, yeah, yeah, the same yeah. region. <laughs> Why does it look so familiar? Every time I 
That's definitely this age. Yo, that's a hundred percent this age. The bro. first time I seen that, I was laughing for probably forty five, fifty minutes. <laughs> Yo, that's hyperbole. Well, he did a hyperbole. I'm about to say that's a hyperbole at the end of that. Hyperbole. Yeah, that's definitely that new age. That's his favorite rap. That's Razy's favorite rap. The offbeat. Yes, yeah, <laughs> The offbeat. Fucking. <laughs> that's a wall statement. Push your pee in a pee. I do it too easy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not. But I wouldn't say that's not like that. That's that Bay Area. That's like the son in Bay Area that was slept on, and now it's popping. Like now it's popping. Yeah. Vlog out right now. Um, it's definitely like, I feel like it was like a blue face type. Uh, not this. He probably was the face of it, but I'm saying that sound was already in. Because, well, I want to say E40 is like a. Mm, kind yeah, of. like it's it's that sound. It's just more it's still trendier. Drill beat. It's a drill yeah, beat. yeah, it's more trendier. If you put E40 on a drill beat, which I think E40 oh my God. might be the worst rapper I've ever heard. In my life. <laughs> I never understood what the hype was about E40, but people I, say that like people will put him down as their favorite rapper yeah, of all for time. Sure, for sure, because him and how. him and um him and that Too Short era was yeah. crazy. Young Too Short, I think I was, love Too Short. It was just because it was a different. It was different at the time, but it's no different than right now. There's new sounds coming out right now that the younger generation would say. It's the best style of rap, and he's my favorite rapper. I love NBA Youngboy. He's he's the best rapper to ever rap. Right. Shit is cool. Shit is cool. I don't know. E forty. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like E forty would probably would be one of those. I don't even know. Not children, but it's that era. Like, and now that it's big, I think Blueface would have been like the face. No pun intended. The face of it. Mm-hmm. Now it's just gone to another. <clears throat> another trajectory of where where West Coast is. Period. I don't know how I would feel if I was like Snoop Dogg or something. Actually, but that's actually a good conversation. How do they feel about the new West Coast versus like the old West Coast, like the YGs? Well, all the old like rappers that. are fucking. They're all invested into them. That is so a, they don't give a fuck as long as they're getting that's a bag true. off of it. That's like true. I think, Wack One Hundred like promotes Blueface for the most part. Yeah, he's a does man. does he think that he's a fucking great rapper? Probably not. Right. Is he going to get the bag from him? Of course. See, that, that's that weird shit, man. What is up with the East Coast? Like, that's that's what I would say. That's that East Coast shit. Because, like, for the longest time, none of them rappers was fucking with the drill shit. Or anything in the East Coast, period. A lot of East Coast rappers, it took them a long time to come through and for really what? fuck with the young boys. Oh, like older heads? Yeah, it took them a long time I to fuck with the young boys. I still think even right now, no. It's still pretty tough. Yeah. They're not really fucking with the young boys. I mean, the, they might have the old heads that still fuck with they don't have, their sound. Like, yeah. you got the Meth and the Jada. Like, yeah. Meth and Jada. You got the Dave East and the Method Mans and, like, those type of collabs. But, like, you will never see, like, them guys really, really fuck with, like, the young boys like that. But it's only an East Coast thing. It's only an East Coast thing. When you look at the South, all them old heads, Gucci and all them, they all fuck with Future. And then it's passed down in lineage. The yeah. West Coast, like you just said, all these old heads, Wax, Snoop, they all... Got money in these guys, so, so. Wack just support whatever he's gonna bring him money. Yeah, he's also. It's I think is he like six nines manager or something like that. Yeah, I mean, they I'm, I'm, allegedly. Yeah, no, he, no, he admitted it on um on Gilly's job. He said he was, but then I he said, "Well, kept. not manager, but we was getting money." He was like, yeah, he, he was just like setting up. I, just, I just didn't before. think he wanted to admit that he was yeah. for his street rep, yeah. rep or whatever that he was working with six nine like that. But Wack's weird because at the same in the same breath he'll say. That he's not a gangster, blah blah blah. He'd be like, "This is this is a this is a business move. It has nothing to do with the streets, which it does have to be separate." But shit like that, you can't stand for, and you can't back it up, even if you are getting a bag. My thing is the same thing, kind of was, kind of Swayze was saying earlier with the Will Smith and the Chris Rock joint. It's like, yeah, you you like reverse that. You're like you're all business and all this stuff, but as soon as somebody says something, you're like, yeah, nigga, you are new, man. You can pull up. We can go in the backyard right yeah. now. So are you business? Or are you gangster? Yeah, like, which yeah, one is it? Like, you really can't be both. Even yeah. the street niggas that <clears throat> grew up and rap from the streets, they'll tell you, yo, nigga, well, at one point, it, look at Twenty One Savage and look at all these niggas that really grew up in the streets. Like, it's a knife. <laughs> like they're really, yo, like we gotta get that shit up and eventually. Yeah. Because you're not going to progress. You'll never progress. Ever. You'll never get to these bags. Like you never get to the Oscars thinking that you're going to come in there with a toolie. And it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's really not going to happen. Oh, yeah. Thank I got God for Chris Rock. <laughs> he would have had a toolie. He would have him up. <laughs> he would have doomed him right in the Oscars. Damn. We were listening. That what's the, job, what's the website back in the day that used to do the little high depth and shit? 
Bestgore.com. Yeah, one of them right. Jones. <laughs> It was one of them drawings where you can like go on that bitch and just watch people get tarnished. Shit, back in our day, you could see that shit on World Star. Oh yeah, 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 you could, you could. Then they said, "Now we get chill with it." Yeah, in fact, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah. We talk culture episode eleven. You know, already know we tapped into a bunch of different teams. Make sure you guys go down below, comment, subscribe to the channel. Well, watch out for them shorts. There's a vlog out right now, again, Donnell. I pulled up on Bird, Bird's Basement. Go there and follow. I got a bunch of vintage gear. Um, I got, I'm about, damn, every time I pull up on this thing, I'm damn about to buy his whole fucking store because he got a lot of fucking fire gear. So if you're local in this little area that we in, tap in with Bird's Basement. Again, we're going to figure out how we're going to do some more vlogs later on or what we're going to do, period, in general. Um... It's almost that time. Like I said, we're going to have some vacation coming up. It is April. We don't have the vacation until May. So you're going to start seeing more. Well, we're going to be recording a lot more. That way, those videos, you're going to, in May, it's going to be like doubles of videos almost. So we're going to have to start doing some more work. Um, what else do we got? Um, like I said, we got um, figure out what kind of vlog we're going to do. We might, we might hit that mall maybe in the next couple of weeks, maybe just because it's something cheap and we can just slide to. Um, shit, what else you got? Oh, me and Swayze was talking about maybe trying to get hit a Sixers game or something soon. We can vlog that. Uh, we're going to try to be doing a lot of things um, to really, you know what I mean, really bring a bunch of the shit to the culture. Bring a bunch of shit to our page. Um, I think we got, uh, I think one of the first videos that I do want to do actually is an interview. So I guess we can sit down and actually talk about who we want to interview first because whoever we interview, we got to bring it top tier. I want to give nothing but, I mean, nothing but the top um, interviews here at We Talk Culture. Um, but yeah, besides that, y'all already know We Talk Culture, episode 11. Peace. Oh, yeah, and at SOS, y'all already know, we'll be coming with bangers next week. <laughs> Period. Two songs, two different eras, trapped from the South. what I say, 2010 to 2000... 2005 to 2010. 2005 to 2010, 2011 to 2014. SOS playlist. Make sure y'all tapped in. Peace. Yeah.